Promoting excellence in sport and healthcare provision were the key themes in Vancouver today as the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall continue their official tour of Canada. Vancouver will play host to the 21st Olympic and 10th Paralympic Winter Games, which will start in February next year. Today, the Prince and Duchess visited the Olympic Athletes' Village, where they were welcomed by a traditional greeting from First Nations people before touring the facilities. After meeting four Canadian Olympians, they posed for a photograph with the three Olympic and Paralympic mascots, Miga, Kwachi and Sumi, before the Prince viewed a presentation on the environmental features of the site. At the following reception, their Royal Highnesses unveiled a plaque to commemorate their visit to the renovated salt building and met Olympic officials, volunteers and members of the organising committee. Minister of Canadian Heritage and Official Languages, the Honourable James Moore, thanked their Royal Highnesses for their visit. The Olympic flame is making its way across the country as we speak. This is the eighth day of a 106 day journey covering more than 45,000 kilometres across this country passing through more than a thousand different communities. It is a great addition to our celebration to have your Royal Highnesses with us. The Prince of Wales went on to meet young entrepreneurs from the Canadian Youth Business Foundation, who told him how the organisation, affiliated to his Youth Business International charity, had provided them with help and support in launching their own successful ventures. He then went on to meet patients and physicians at Holistic Medical Centre Inspire Health before discussing the importance of sustainable urban development at Simon Fraser University. Meanwhile, Her Royal Highness visited the picturesque Van Dusen Gardens. After taking a stroll and planting a tree, she took part in a seed exchange on behalf of the Royal Botanic Gardens at Kew. Kew's Millennium Seed Bank Partnership is the largest seed conservation project in the world. Her final stop of the afternoon was at the Hip Health and Mobility Centre, a mobile unit that travels around British Columbia to collect and provide information on bone health. The Duchess is president of the National Osteoporosis Society in the UK and has a very personal interest, as her mother and grandmother died as a result of the disease. Her Royal Highness met patients and doctors before attending a reception for medical staff.